All right, everybody stand up, face the east. Father, Lord, thank you for another day, Lord. Thank you for your Sabbath, Lord. Thank you for bringing us here, Lord. Thank you for gathering us together, Lord. Let us walk in your ways, Lord. Let us continue to walk in your ways, Lord. Keep us in your mind, Lord. Keep us on, keep Israel on your mind, Lord. Bring us home, Lord. The time is short, Lord, and we know it's near, Lord. Please clear our brothers and sisters, man. Heal all the hearts of the brothers and sisters who are not right, Lord. Lord, keep our minds fresh, Lord. Keep our minds going on your spirit, Lord. Keep us studying in your word, Lord. Keep us working, taking Taking care of our families, taking care of our brothers and sisters, taking care of the church, Lord. Keep us dealing with the body, Lord. Thank you for everything you've done for us, Lord. Please bless every brother and sister. Heal their sickness and whatever they're going through. Heal them, Lord. Heal them and let them get better, Lord, so we can walk and continue to keep doing your law, statute, commandments, Lord. Thank you for everything you've done for us. In your name we pray. Amen. Disclaimer. This is TTIC Disclaimer. TTIC, also known as The Truth in Christ, is a Bible-based organization. We are not affiliated with any other Israelite group. We teach the Bible as it is written. We are not a hate group, nor do we teach violence. We do not condone any acts of hate or violence against any rape, race, ethnicity, gender, or relig religious groups. We firmly believe in abiding by the laws of the city and state. If you witness any member of TTIC committing a crime, please contact us and the proper authorities. Give me uh, First Chronicles chapter 13, verse 1. This is the book of 1 Chronicles, chapter 13, and verse 1. And David consulted with the captains of thousands and hundreds, and every leader, and with every leader. And David said unto all the congregation of Israel, If it seem good unto you, and that it, and it be of the Lord our God, let us send abroad unto our brethren everywhere that are left in all the land of Israel, and with them also to the priests and Levites which are in the cities and suburbs, that they may gather themselves unto us. And let us bring again the ark of our God to us, for we inquired not at it in the days of Saul. And all the congregation said, said that they would do so, for the thing was right in the eyes of all the people. So David gathered all of Israel together from Shehor of Egypt, even unto the entering of Hamah, to bring the ark of God from Kijarkaram. And David went up in all Israel to Bela, that is, Kijarkaram, which belonged to Judah, to bring up thence the ark of God to the Lord, that dwelleth between the cherubims, whose name is called upon it. And they carried the ark of God in a new cart out of the house of Abinadi and Uzzah and Ohio, Drave the uh, cart. And David and all Israel played before God with all their might, mm -hmm. and with singing, and with harps, and with psalteries, and with timbrels, and with cymbals, and with trumpets. Three. And when they came unto the threshold, threshing floor of Chadon, Uzzah put forth his hand to hold the ark for the oxen stubble. And, and so he came forth to bring forth the, uh, the ark of the Lord for the ox. So, watch his street. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against Uzzah, and he smote him. And he what? He smote him. So he killed Uzzah. Why? 
and he smote him because he put his hand on the ark and there he died before God. So he put his hands on the ark and he died before God. So Uzzah, Uzzah put his hands on the ark and he died before God. Now what, what, why did God smoke him? Because we say, we, today's class is what's right to you. Let me turn this down just a little bit. Today's class is what's right to you, right? Some of our people, we think that what we do is just right, right? We think that what's going on with us is we just make our own decision, right? I'm going to do it this way, blindly. I'm just going to do it my way. But watch this. I'm going to show you why Uzzah got put to death. Now read verse 11, then I'm going to deal with it. Watch this. Verse 11. And David was displeased because the Lord had made a breach upon Uzzah. Mm -hmm. Wherefore, this place is called Perez Uzzah to this day. Which is the outbreak of Uzzah. I, so, now, David was displeased. David was, David was like, hold up, God. Why, what you do that for? Because David did not use the what? The law. David didn't think of the law at this time, right? So this is what happens. Give me First Chronicles chapter 15, verse 14. The book of First Chronicles chapter 15 and verse 14. Read. So the priest and the Levite sanctified themselves to bring up the ark of God, of the Lord's God to, of Israel. And so read it again. So the, so the priests and the Levites sanctified themselves to bring up the ark of the Lord God of Israel. So you got to say, you must be cleansed. You can't touch the ark of God just be, and you be unclean. So he got, Uzzah got put to what? Death. He got put to death for this thing. But we're going to go into it a little more. Watch this. Give me Exodus chapter 30 verse 17. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 30 and verse 17. Uh -huh. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Thou shalt also make a labor of brass, and his foot also of brass, to wash with all. And thou shalt put it between the tabernacle of the congregation and the altar, and thou shalt put water therein. So he told them that it should bring, this is a basin, where you, where you pour and wash your wood. Wash you, you 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 wash your hands and your feet or whatever, right? So God told them to put that so they go in the water and they're in. So watch this. Come on, nineteen, verse nineteen. And Aaron and his son shall wash their hands and their feet uh, thereat. So with this basin, they was gonna wash their hands and their feet thereat. Watch this. When they go into the tabernacle of the congregation, uh -huh. they shall wash with water. They shall wash with water. That they die not. See, that's what happened to Uzzah. That they die not. So when you deal with the ark of the Lord, you must be clean. So you won't die. Read. Come on. And when they come near to the altar to minister to burn an offering made by fire unto the Lord. See, so you must watch this. Twenty one. So, so they shall wash their hands and their feet that they die not. That they die not. And it shall be a statute forever to them. Read. Even to him and to the seed throughout their generation. Uh huh. So, 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 just a requirement that you be clean before the Lord thy God. Everybody got that? Yeah. All right. So now from her, let's go. Let's go from, did we read 20? Yep. Give me Acts chapter 13 and verse 33. The book of Acts chapter 13. Hold on. Let me make sure. Hold on. I might be ahead of myself. I'm sorry. Let me make sure. Give me one second. Yes, I'm ahead of myself. I'm sorry. Let's go back. Let's go back to First Chronicles. I'm sorry. 
not Acts chapter 13. I mean, let's go, not Acts chapter 13. Let's go back to Chronicles, 1 Chronicles 13. I was ahead of myself. I knew it. And read off where you left. The book of 1 Chronicles chapter 13. And let's see. Was it eight? Nine. Verse nine. No, ten. It was ten. First Chronicles chapter 13 and verse ten. Watch this. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against Uzzah, and he smote him. And he smote him. Because he put his hand on the ark, and there he died before God. Breed. And David was displeased. And David was displeased. Because the Lord had made a breach upon Uzzah. Breed. Wherefore this place is called Perez Uzzah to this day. Come on. And David was afraid of God that day. And saying, he was, and David was what? Afraid of God that day. Say it saying, what? How shall I bring the ark of God home to me? See, now, now let me show you something. Right there, David was in a confused state, brothers and sisters. David was at a confused state. He was like, man, I don't want to bring the ark of the God, the God with me. It just killed one of my peoples. But that man did something that was un what? unclean. He did not follow the laws of what? Yeah. King David, not clear-minded, Confused because he just seen this man get smoked. He should have went back to the laws of what? God. If he would have read back to the laws of God, he would have known that the, anybody's handling the ark of God, any of the Levite priests, they cannot touch it unless they were sanctified, meaning clean, or they get put to death. So David is confused right now. Watch this. Read. Verse 13. So David brought not the ark home to himself to the city of David, but carried it aside inside the house of Abedon the Git the Gittite. So he took it to Abedon the Gittite. Come on. And the ark of God remained with the family of Abedon in his house three months. And the Lord blessed the house of Abedon and all he had. Did you see that? So we now now. Now, when you keep reading, you're going to see King David at the end. King David going to bring it back to Jerusalem, back to the king's place at the end. Because he's seeing a uh, uh, better there. He, he's getting blessed. He blessed God, blessed his house. Meaning he grew. Man, money, he, business, or whatever. Just put your imaginary thoughts to he was getting blessed by having the ark there. His family was doing better, probably getting better food, better service from his wife, more love. Because why? Because he had the ark of the Lord there. Right. And God was blessing him with by doing this thing. Some of y'all got to think the same way. Y'all got to have the same mind frame. Like when we was at your house before we got to school. We was at you in officer's house. Also, and you got blessed by God. Y'all right. shit, you got more business. Also, got a promotion. Y'all started to get blessed by these things because y'all didn't even know it. Just, just having the school in y'all house at that time. Y'all, y'all was getting blessed. Y'all was getting blessed. See what I mean? You gotta remember that thing right there. So, when you do. But David did not understand is, well, why, why was I, uh, why was I not, uh, David didn't understand why did he kill uh, Uzziah. Uzziah. He didn't understand. Uzziah, Uzzah you right there. No, we said Uzziah. <laughs> Uzzah. He didn't understand why he killed him, right? But when we went to the law, we understood exactly why he got killed. Because regardless if it was an accident or not, you shouldn't even be about the ark of the Lord if you weren't, uh, you weren't ordained to touch that thing. That's right. just like the uh, the people that is opening the God's Bible and they say that they are God's chosen people. When they go into God's Bible and they say that they God's chosen people, then what happens is they're saying that, hey, this
This Bible belongs to us, but there are unclean people. Give me uh, Psalms chapter 47, 19 and 20. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 40, 47. Go ahead. He says, uh, uh, he said, Psalms 47. Psalms 147, 147. 19 and 20. I'm sorry. Right. I was trying to see what that was. I'm making sure that that light did pop on for no reason. The book of Psalms, chapter 147, verse 19. Read. He showed his word unto Jacob. So he showed his word to Jacob. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Read. He had not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known him. No, them. Praise be the Lord. So you see that thing right there. So when we dealing with when, when God is dealing with straight with Israel, right? Ain't nobody else invited to this party. Ain't no other nation invited to this party. Be self us. So what I'm telling y'all brothers and sisters is when we do things, do things according to what the Bible says. Because when you go outside the Bible, you become unclean. All right? You become unclean. Let's go to Acts chapter 13, verse 33. This is the book of Acts, chapter 13, and verse 33. God hath fulfilled the same unto us, us, their children, in that he hath raised up Jesus again, as it is written in the second Psalms, Thou art my son, uh -huh. this, this day have I be begotten thee. Breathe. And as concerning that he raised them up from the dead, now no more to return to corruption. He said on, the, on this wise, I will give you the sure measures of David. And you the sure mercies of David. Mercies of David. Wherefore he said also in another Psalms, Thou shalt not suffer thy holy one to see corruption. Read. For David, after he had served his own generation by the will of God, fell on sleep. So David, when God, he, he fell asleep and he died. Watch this. And was laid into his fathers and saw corruption. See, King David seen corruption. What did he do? He killed Uriah's what? I mean, he killed Uriah. Uriah. I And took his wife. I So King David seen corruption. Watch this. But he, whom God raised again, saw no corruption. He's talking about Christ. Christ died without sin, and he was raised without sin. Watch this. Be it known unto you, therefore, men and brethren, that through this man is preached unto you the forgiveness of sin. So through Christ is preached unto us the forgiveness of sin. Watch this. And by him all that believe are justified from all things. You see that all that believe are justified by all things. Watch this. From, from which ye could not be justified by the law of Moses. Stop. <coughs> I'm sorry. You I touched the the ark they died, right? If the ark was with them in the New Testament, if he did that, he would have been forgiven. Right? He'd have been forgiven. If you killed somebody, uh, if you killed somebody and he was a murderer, when Christ died, you could be forgiven of that murder. Back in the old days, you would have had the guy put the what? Yeah. You got to get the group back. Good put the down for that thing. Same thing with adultery. Same thing with a woman's uh, 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 a woman sleeping with another man. Before every one of you women came in the truth, y'all been with another man before. All right. So now when you get with a man of God, God forgives you of the men that you slept with before, and now you start over what? Start over again. Okay, so God forgives you of those things. So that's what that's saying. Watch this. Keep on reading. Uh, verse 40. Beware, therefore, lest that come upon you, which is spoken of in the prophets. Read. Behold, ye despisers, and wonder, and perish. For I work a work in, in your days. So he said, I'm a work a work in your days. Watch this. A work which ye shall in no wise believe. Read. Though a man declare it unto you. See, you notice... A man 
we we we'll, we'll tell our people that this is gonna happen, that's gonna happen, right? But no one what believes. You remember when Noah was preaching to the people and he told them, Noah was preaching, he said, Hey, the earth is gonna it's gonna flood. It's gonna flood, change your ways. The earth is gonna flood, change your ways. He preached the hundred years, the earth's gonna flood, change your ways. Did anybody listen to Noah? Not one person that's listening to Noah. Not one person. The only people that listened to Noah, the ones that got saved, was he, him, his wife, his three sons, and their wives. Them is the only one to listen to. Do y'all not find that strange right now today when we are teaching? Trying to find somebody who's woke. Who wants this information is like trying to find a needle in a big old haystack. That's right. It's a trip. It's what? It's a trip. It's a trip. Just to give you a little thing on that. Uh, we are we read 41, right? Yes, sir. Alright, let's go to Habakkuk chapter 1. And let's go to verse 1, please. This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 1 and verse 1. Uh -huh. The burden which Habakkuk the prophet did seek. Uh -huh. O Lord, how long shall I cry? And thou wilt not hear. Even cry out unto thee of violence, and thou wilt not say. Read. Why dost thou show me iniquity, and cause me to behold grievance? For the spoiling and violence are before me. So, you see that? He said, why you cause, why you cause me to behold Grievance, trouble, and spoil, pondering of violence are before me. Watch this. Come on, watch this. Read. And there are, are that race, excuse me, for spoiling and violence are before me. Uh -huh. And there are that raise of strife and contention. So it's the people that raise up strife and contention. Watch this. Therefore, the law is slack. What, what happened? The law is slack. Therefore, the law is slack. Hold that right there, real quick. Let me see if I find this real quick. Yes. I'll put it right back. Give me one second. Second, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm just trying to find this scripture. Give me your uh, Acts chapter 13. And start with 41. The book, 40, 40. The book of Acts chapter 13, verse 40. Watch this. Beware therefore, lest that come upon you which is spoken of in the prophets. Watch this. Behold, ye despisers, and wonder, and perish. For I work a work in your day, a work which ye shall in no wise believe, that a man declared upon you. Come on. Though a man declared unto you. And when the Jews were gone out of the synagogues, the Gentiles besought that these words might be preached to them the next Sabbath. Read. Now when the congregation was broken up, and many of the Jews and religious proselytes Followed Paul and Barnabas, who, speaking to them, persuaded them to continue in the grace of God. Watch this. And the next Sabbath day, the next Sabbath day, came almost the whole city together to hear the word of God. Watch this. But when Jesus saw the multitude, no, no, 25. Oh, excuse me. 
But when the Jews saw the multitude, but when the Jews saw the multitude, they were filled with envy. They were filled with envy and spake against those things which were spoken by Paul, contradicting and blasting. You see that? So they stirred up the what? They did what? They stirred up the what? The people. They stirred up the people because they they had what in their heart? They had envy. They were filled with envy. And they spoke against those things which were spoken by Paul. So they stirred up the, the people. I can I can find the one. Hold on. Let's see. Let's see. Keep uh jump to verse 50. That's what I was looking for. Okay, verse 50. But the Jews stirred up the devout and honorable women and the chief men of the city. And raised persecution against Paul and Barnabas, Three. Barnabas and expelled them out of their coast. That's what I wanted right there. You see, that's what our people do right there. Our people raise up doubts. They try to put doubts in other people's minds. They stir up the people to get their minds focused on something else other than hearing God's words. So you see what I mean? That was that woman that woman was out there doing today. Yes, that's what that woman was doing today. All praises, Soldier Herman. That's exactly what she was doing. She was stirring up the people, talking loud, cussing. Ain't nobody cussing, ain't nobody talking loud. We just we just talking about the Bible. She's cussing like it's uh, like it's a like it's a sport. <laughs> so that's what happens. Let's go back to Rebecca, please. The book of Habakkuk, chapter 1, verse 4. Now read 3, one more time, soldier. Verse 3. Why dost thou show me iniquity, and cause me to behold grievance? For spoiling and violence are before me, and there are that raised up strife and contention. And there are, and there, and there are that which raise up strife and contention. Just like the Jews did, the our people still doing the same thing, what? Today. They still doing the same thing. Watch this. Read. Verse 4. Therefore the law is slacked, and judgment doth never go forth. For the wicked doth compass about the righteous. Therefore wrong judgment proceeds. Now let's go back to Paul in Acts 28. Go back to Paul in Acts 28. Now I want y'all to pay attention. Hold that soldier arm because you're going to read that again before we read this. I want you to go to Acts chapter 28, verse 27, but read Habakkuk 1 and 4 again. Watch this. Uh, Habakkuk 1 and 4. Therefore the law is slack. Therefore the law is slack. And judgment that never go forth. Meaning no one is getting judged for what they're doing. Everybody's in the midst of sin. Watch this. For the wicked doth compass about the righteous. So wicked people is uh, surrounded by the righteous. Therefore wrong judgment proceeded. Therefore wrong judgment proceeded. Uh, let me see. Did I read five? No, it was four. Okay. Now give me Acts chapter 28. Watch this. At 27. The book of Acts, chapter 28, verse 27. Read. For the heart of this people is waxed gross. So the heart of this people are waxed gross, meaning it grew, uh, uh, it grew hard. It grew, their heads is hard. Watch this. They grew hard. Watch this. And their ears are dull of hearing. And they don't have no understanding. They're not going to listen. Watch this. And their eyes have been closed. And their eyes are closed because they see God's words. But they really don't see God's words. They see them, but they're not there in front of them. They don't even understand Deuteronomy 28, slavery. They're not even seeing that. It's right there, and they they eyes can read it, but they just it just don't make sense to them. Watch this. And their eyes have been closed, lest they should see with their eyes. Lest they should see God's words with their eyes. And hear with their ears. And open their ears up to God's words. And understand with their heart. And understand with their minds. And should be, should be converted. And shall change. And I should heal them. Then that's the only way that these people can be healed. That's the only way. So if the law is slack, guys, how can you be healed? I'm going to give you, now let's bump that up today. That's in the back of the Old Testament, the prophets, right? Let's bump it up right now today in America. Our people is running around without law. The law is slack. So now let's, let's examine that real quick. Give me Amos 
Give me Amos. I want the one when it says you got a controversy. Is it 4 and 1? Blood touches blood. That's what I want. Is it Amos 4 and 1? Yeah, that's Hosea uh, 4. Is it Hosea 4 and 1? Okay, come on. The book of Hosea, chapter 4, and verse 1. Read. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord had a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. So God got a controversy with our people. He got a problem with our people. Watch this. Here go the problem. Because there is no truth. Because there's what? No truth. The truth is the law according to Psalms 119, 142. There's no law. Read. Nor mercy. Nor mercy. Nor knowledge of God in the land. See, that's, it's, not, it's, no, it's no knowledge of God. It's no mercy and there's no law of God in the land. Watch this. By swearing. By what? By swearing. By swearing. And lying. And lying. And killing. And killing. And still. Read. And committing adultery. Read. They break out. And blood touches blood. Did you see that thing right there? That's because there's no law in the land. Blood touches the blood. That's black on black crime right here in our Bible. You know what our people ignorantly say? Well, the white men, they shoot each other too. You will hear about one white person killing each other out of a thousand black people of got killed by each other. And you look, look last week a white guy got killed each other. Brother, is that your logic? Is that all you got? Brother, the percentage is a 95% percentage that 10 black men would die before one white man do the violence. Right. Our people are ignorant. One white man and 10 black men. Last time I checked, 10 take away one is what? Nine. Last time I checked, it's nine people dying to every one. Do the math. Put that on a million. That's one million to nine million. <laughs> that means we are dying at a higher rate than these other nations. Far as I'm talking about violence, killing each other. I'm not talking about natural causes. I'm talking about killing each other. The white man is in rulership. They don't. They just don't go around killing each other. Y'all remember the uh, who was it? Was it the governor or the mayor? It was the governor or the senator. The one Ruth Paul, the one that where the man came down there and beat him up on the, on his own property. He was cutting the grass. He told him to cut off the live Yeah. Who was that? It, it was that the, was that the governor or the senator? It was Rand Paul, but all, Rand Paul. yeah, he was on his own. Oh, he was on his live board. His neighbor got mad. Did he go kill him? No, he went and beat his butt. He got locked up for it, right? The guy got locked up for it. He went to beat his butt. Now let that be a black man on the line more than another black man tell you to cut it off. You think he's gonna come down there and whoop you? No, he's gonna come because he come down there and whoop you. He'll end up getting whooped. Then he go go get the gun and you're dead. Ran on the line more. I'm giving you facts. Let's go back to Habakkuk. Verse 5. The book of Habakkuk, chapter 1 and verse 5. Read. Behold, ye among the heathen, and regard, and wonder marvelously, for I will work a work in your days. So he said, I will work a work in your days. Come on. Which ye will not believe. Uh -huh. Though it be told you. Though it be what? Though it be told you. But he, though it be told you. Come on. For lo, I will raise up the Chaldeans. Hold on. That, uh, uh, uh. He said what? For lo, I will raise up the Chaldeans. He sounds great up the Chaldeans. That bitter and hasty nation. Come on. Which shall march through the breadth of the land. To possess the dwelling places that are not there. That which shall to, 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 uh, march through the land to possess the dwelling place, places that is not theirs. Give me Genesis chapter. Uh, give me Genesis chapter uh, twenty-seven and verse forty. Let's start with thirty-nine. Let's see what the promise that uh, uh, Abraham gave to his son. Not Abraham. Is it Abraham? Uh, no, that's uh, 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 Isaac. Mm -hmm. Let's see what the let's see what the go ahead. The book of Genesis, chapter twenty-seven, and verse thirty-eight. I mean thirty-nine. And Isaac his father answered and said unto him, 
Be, behold, thy dwelling place shall be the fatness of the earth. Thy dwelling places shall be the fatness of the earth. Watch and, this. And of the dew of heaven from above. And the dew of heaven from above. And by thy sword shalt thou live. And by thy sword shalt thou live. And shalt serve thy brother. And it shall come to pass when thou shalt have dominion. That thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. So you see that right there. So God already said that Esau was going to have the fat, fat, the dwelling places of the earth, the fatness of meaning the best lands of the what earth. Let's go back to Rebecca. Let's go back to Rebecca. One and six. The book of Habakkuk, chapter one, and verse six. For lo, I will raise up the Chaldeans, that bitter and hasty nation. Which shall march through the breadth of the land to possess the dwelling places that are not there. Then to show to possess the dwelling places which is not there. Soldier Hermit from there. Give me Jeremiah chapter 50 and 1. I want to read 1 through 11. The book of Jeremiah chapter 50 and verse 1. Mm -hmm. The word that the Lord spake under, against Babylon and against the land of the Chaldeans by Jeremiah the prophet. Declare ye among the nations and publish and set up a standard. Publish and conceal not. Say Babylon is taken. Baal is confounded. Uh, Merodach is broken into pieces. Her idols are confounded. Her images are broken in pieces. For out of the north there cometh up a nation against her, which shall make her land desolate, and none shall dwell there. And none shall what? None shall dwell there. So it's going to be a nation that comes against her that's going to, to uh, take her land, and none shall dwell there. So the reason why we're here, I'm not done yet, but the reason why we're there is, was when the Persians and Medes defeated, when the Persians were defeated and the Medes defeated, Babylon. Was people still dwelling there? Yes. Yes, it was. So this is not talking about the Babylon of the Chaldeans. This is this child this Chaldeans is talking about Babylon the Great, which is America. That's right. I hold up, hold that real quick, because we we're gonna preach up real quick. Give me Revelation. You, you know what I want? Revelation 17 and 5. I might, go, I might have to go over it twice, but I'm just going to touch it real quick. The book of Revelation, chapter 17, and verse 5. Watch this. And upon her forehead was written, was a name written. Was a name written? Mystery, Babylon Mystery. the Great. Mystery, Babylon the Great. The mother of harlot. Uh-huh. And abominations of the earth. See, you got to remember, at the end of the Bible, in Revelation, God said he's going to come and get us out of Mystery, Babylon, guys, Right? That Babylon is not talking about the Babylons of the uh, uh, the Babylon Babylonians back then. It's not talking about them. It's just talking about America, right? So let's go back. Let's go back to uh, Jeremiah fifty. Jeremiah verse fifty, uh, uh, fifty and verse three. Come on. For out of the north shall come up a nation against her, which shall make her land desolate and. And none shall dwell therein. Mm -hmm. They shall remove. They shall depart, both man and beast. See that? And that's how we know that this is talking about destruction and not just war. Come on. In those days, and in hold on, hold on, hold on. Read that again. Read that again. Uh, verse four. No, verse three. I'm sorry. Verse three. For out of the north there cometh up a nation against her. Which shall make her land desolate. Which shall make her land desolate. And none shall dwell therein. They shall be, they shall remove, they shall depart, both man and beast. So they shall depart, meaning they're going to get destroyed, both man and what? Beast. Let's read it. Give me, give me Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 5. Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 5. Watch this. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 5. Uh huh. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise. If every battle of the warrior is with confused noise, because when they fighting, when they was fighting in those days, it was with what? Swords. Ding, ding, ding. Ah, oh, ah. People was getting 
it's sound. You hear swords clashing against each other. Watch this. And garments rolled in blood. And people was, and their garments was rolled in blood. Watch this. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. That's called nuclear destruction. That's what we're reading in Jeremiah 50 and 3. Now let's go back to Jeremiah 50 and verse 4. Watch this. Jeremiah chapter 50 and verse 4. Come on. In those days and in that time, said the Lord. In those days and at that time, says the Lord. Watch this. The children of Israel shall come. They and the children of Judah together, going and weeping, shall they go. They shall go and seek the Lord their God. They shall go and weeping and seek the Lord their God. Do you not remember the scripture where it says uh, that uh, it's, where is it at? Where they shall be crying and weeping together. So, but go ahead, keep on going. Go, keep on. We ain't gonna, we ain't gonna interrupt you. Go ahead, come on. Verse five. They shall ask the way to Zion with their faces thither, thitherward, saying, uh -huh. Come, let us join ourselves to the Lord in a perpetual covenant that shall not be forgotten. Read it again. They shall say what? They shall ask the way to Zion with their faces thitherward, uh -huh. saying, Come, and let us join ourselves to the Lord in a perpetual covenant that shall not be forgotten. That shall not be forgotten. Come on. My people have been lost sheep. Their shepherds have caused them to go astray. They have turned them away on the mountain. They have gone from mountain to hill. They have forgotten their resting place. Mm -hmm. All that found them have devoured them. Three. And their adversary said, We offend not, because they have sinned against the Lord. You see that? They adversary said, We offend not. We ain't offending God, because they sinned against God. Watch this. The habitation of justice, even the Lord, the hope of their father. See, now watch this. I'm going to explain that to you. Everybody, everybody, yeah, everybody with me? I'm going to explain this to you. What happened? Give me Judith chapter 5, and I want verse 20, please. Just verse 20. The book of Judas, chapter, chapter 5, and verse 20. Watch this. Now, therefore, my Lord and governor, if there be any error in his people, and they sin against their God. And they sin against their God. Let us consider that this shall be their ruin. That we shall ruin. This is their ruin. Not we're ruined. We we're going to ruin them. That this is their ruin because they sin against their God. Read. And let us go up and we shall overcome. You see that? So when we in sin, guys, brothers and sisters, pay attention to me, y'all. When we in sin, other people and other things can overcome us. That's right. So when you in sin, things is going to overtake you. But when you're, when you're not in sin, God is going to protect you. You're going to be strong even though you're weak. So when you're in sin, you overtake it. When you're not in sin, you're strong. Everybody got that? I know y'all uncomfortable. I know it's a little warm in here today. I know it is. Hang in there with me. Hang in there with me. Let's go back. Where was he at? Uh, Jeremiah 50 and where's verse? So back, uh, Jeremiah 50 and uh, 9. And verse 9. So verse 8. Verse 8. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 50 and verse 8. Remove out of the midst of Babylon and go forth out of the land of the Chaldeans mm -hmm. and be as the goats before the flock. Read. For lo, I will raise and calls to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the north country. Mm -hmm. And they should self set themselves in array against her. Stop. You see that? This, I'm going into even more depth. This is how we know that it was not uh, this is not talking about the uh, Babylonian captivity back then that we was in. This is not talking about the Babylonians back then because it was not a uh, array of nations that went against them. It was only one what? Well, it's only one nation. The Persian Medes defeated them, and we're going to get into that as we go. Come on, we keep on reading. Watch this. From this shall be taken, uh, and they shall set themselves in array against her. From this she shall be taken. With arrows shall she be as a mighty expert man. None shall return in vain. None, none shall return in vain. So these arrows going to be shot. It's talking about missiles, not not arrows, missiles. Read. 
and and Chaldea shall be spoiled. It's going to be spoiled. All that spoil, all that spoil her shall be satisfied, saith the Lord. Read. Because ye were glad, because ye rejoiced, O ye destroyers of my hair. You see, they they destroyed God's heritage. They destroyed God's heritage all the way. All the way where God says two thirds of my people must what? Die. die. They are destroyed us with their Christianity. They are destroyed us with their politicians. They are destroyed us with their courthouses. They are destroyed God's people. Read. Oh, ye destroyers of my heritage, because ye are grown fat as a heifer of grass. Because they are grown fat because they own all the dwelling places of the earth. They have took over people's lands. They're in everyone's land. And you remember, you remember what's that old movie where uh, the, the, the dude says, if it's a nickel bag song, I want, I, want, uh, I want money off of every nickel bag song. It's an old movie. It's an old movie. When uh, y'all remember, he said, he said, when a nickel bag is sold, I want, I want to cut off of every nickel bag. A nickel bag back there was a five dollar bag of uh, weed. Mm -hmm. He said, if a nickel bag was sold, I want to cut off that nickel bag. Can't you imagine you selling a, 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 a five dollar bag of weed and somebody said, give me two dollars off that bag? <laughs> that's the, so what I'm telling you is that's America with the other nations. Whatever is whatever is in your country, we want to cut off of in your country. We're demanding to cut off of it. We're not, or we gonna say to you, we're not gonna buy, we're not gonna sell, we're not gonna do nothing. What you gonna say? I'm sorry. Well, they say Haiti, Haiti had just got through uh, paying the French off mm -hmm. billions of dollars just like the last few years. They just got through paying them off. Uh huh. For them coming over, taking all their stuff. Mm -mm. You know, the Haitians rebelled. Right. Okay, they had to pay reparations to the French. You see what I mean? Same thing. And and, and that 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 is Esau in the in the flesh. Alright? So watch this. Verse if we read eleven. Uh, we're at the end of eleven. Read it again. Uh, Verse 11, because you were glad, because you rejoice, O ye destroyers of my heritage. Come on. Because ye are, ye are grown fat as the heifer at grass, uh -huh. and bellow as bull. And bellows as bull. So, this, this nation right here is grown fat of God's people. 28. Jump to 28. Okay. Jeremiah 50 and verse 28. Read. The voice of them that flee and escape down the land of Babylon... To declare in Zion the vengeance of the Lord our God, the vengeance of his temple. Call together the archers against Babylon. All ye that bend the bow, camp, or, camp against it round about. Let none thereof escape. Recompense her according to her work, according to all she hath done. Do unto her, for she hath, she hath been proud against the Lord. Uh -huh. And uh, against the Lord, against the Holy One of Israel. Eerie. Therefore shall her young men fall in the streets. There, what God says. Therefore her young men shall fall in the streets. Therefore shall her young men fall in the streets. Watch this. And all her men of war shall be cut off in that day, said the Lord. Stop right quick. Give me Isaiah. Give me Isaiah chapter 13. Give me chapter 13 and verse 15. The book of Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 15. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through, and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. Watch this. Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Greed. And their houses shall be spoiled, and their wives ravished. Greed. Behold, I will stir up the means against them. 
which shall not regard silver, and as for gold, they shall not delight in. So God is going to stir up a nation against them. But hold on, that's that's not the I want the one. Oh, I'm on it. 21, 14, 21. Come on. Uh, Isaiah chapter 14. Verse, Start with 20. In verse 20. Thou shalt not be joined with them in burial, because thou hast destroyed their, excuse me, thou hast not joined with them in burial, because thou hast destroyed thy land, and slain thy people, the seed of evildoers shall never be renowned. It's come on, the seed of evildoers shall never be renowned, come on. Prepare slaughter for his children. Hold on, what God say? Prepare slaughter for his children. What God say? Prepare slaughter for his children. Why? For the iniquities of their fathers. See, see they're going to pay. Just like we came over on slave ship and we had to pay for the iniquities of what? For our forefathers? They're going to pay for the iniquities of their forefathers. Our people don't realize that thing right there. That's Revelation 13 and 10 right there. Read that. Hold that and come back. Read that. Revelation 13 and 10. Hold that for me. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 13 and verse 10. Read. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Come on. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Read. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Now read Isaiah chapter 14, verse 21. Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 21. Prepare slaughter for his children. Read. For the iniquities of their fathers. For the iniquities of their fathers. That they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with sin. You see that thing right there? So God says, verse 22. Verse 22. For I will raise up against them, saith the Lord of hosts, and cut off from, the, from Babylon the name and remnant, and son and nephew, said the Lord. You see that right there? So God sees he's going to cut off all their what? People. God sees he's going to cut off all their people. Let's go back. Let's go back to Jeremiah. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 50, and verse... Thirty-one and verse thirty-one. Behold, I am against thee, O thou most proud, said the Lord God of hosts. For thy day is come, the time that I will visit thee. Read. And the most proud shall stumble and fall, and none shall raise him up. And I will kindle a fire in his cities, and it shall devour, devour all about. Oh, excuse me, it devour all round about him. Stop right there. Remind me to come back to Jeremiah. What's it? 50 and what verse was it? That's uh, we're 32. 32. Remind me to come back to there when I get to Isaiah 29. All right. Read that one more time. Okay. Jeremiah 50 verse 32. And the most proud shall stumble and fall. They go stumble and fall. And shall not raise him up. And none shall raise him up. And I will kindle a fire in the cities. And it shall devour all around about him. Stop. Was the was the was the Babylon Babylonians at that day was far kindled through all their cities? No. No. I'm just giving you, I'm still we still going off of Becca. All right? I'm showing you that this Babylon right here is not referring to that Babylon in the Becca is not referring to the Babylons of the Chaldeans back then. It's referring to America right now as Babylon. Watch it read. So where we at? 36. Okay. I mean 35. The, uh, Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 35. A sword is upon the Chaldean, said the Lord. Okay. And what did he say? A sword is upon the no, Chaldean. I'm sorry. 30, 33. 33. 33. Thus said the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together, and all that took them captives held them fast, and they refused to let them go. <laughs> Their Redeemer is strong. The Lord of hosts is his name. He shall thoroughly plead their cause, that he may give rest to the land and disquiet the inhabitants of Babylon. Come on. A sword is upon the Chaldeans, said the Lord. A sword is upon them. Come on. And upon the inhabitants of Babylon, and upon her princes, and upon her wise men. Read. A sword is upon the liars. Upon the what? Upon the liars. Read. And they shall dope. They did be fools. 
And the sword is upon her mighty men, and they shall be dismayed. They shall be dismayed. So he said they're gonna be fools. <laughs> they they gonna be they be dope. They should be fools. And the sword is upon the mighty men. Free. The sword is upon their horses and upon their chariots. Come on. And upon all the mingled people that are in the midst of her. Stop. Was the purchase of meat? Was, was they a mixed people? Was they a mingled people? No. The Persians, the Medes, two different what? But they was not, did they have all, did they have the Japanese in there? The Chinese, the Arabs? Did they have all them people in there? No. You know that because when we get to Daniels, you'll see what I mean. Read, come on. A sword is upon their horses and upon their chariots and upon all the mingled people that are in the midst of her. Come on, read. And they shall become as women. A sword is Hold on, they shall become as women? As women. They, uh, what what do a woman do? If, if, what do women do when they see a a, a a dog or somebody get murdered? What they do? Oh, they, they 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 holler. They dramatic. You know what I mean? And that's what God says to men. They they, they men when they see those missiles, they gonna be like women. Which we know that that's true because if we see the missiles. We probably gonna be saying, "Oh my God, the fainting!" We, we oh yeah, we gonna faint. Oh Lord, oh Lord, please let me get saved. Right. <laughs> Go ahead. Look, look, that, that, that's why uh, uh, what does it say? What the Solomon talks about? We're gonna be surprised at our own salvation. Right. You know what I mean? It's yes. gonna be. You know, we gonna have a hope in the Lord, but we gonna be scared just like them. Yes, sir. That's why the rejoicing when we get that chariot's gonna be so great. Yeah. We gonna be like. Hey! You're right. All praises the most high. Because you, you, all praises. We'll see it. We'll see it. Verse 37. Uh, no, 38. Uh, and then no, I'll finish, finish 37. And they shall become as women. A sword is upon her treasures. Upon her treasures. And they shall be robbed. Read. A drought is upon her waters. <laughs> and they shall be dried up. Come on. For it is the land of graven images. It's a land of what? Graven images. It's a land of what? Graven images. Read. They are mad at, they are mad upon their eyes. You know, these ignorant brothers that say you can't have no graven image. God, this is a whole land of graven images here in America. It's a whole land full of graven images. Your car got a graven image on it. Your house, if it got a picture, you got a graven image. Your shirt logo is a graven image. People are ignorant. <laughs> Therefore, the wild beast of the desert with the wild beast of the island shall dwell there, uh -huh. and the owl shall dwell therein, Three. and it shall be no more inhabited forever. Three. Neither shall it be dwelt in for generation and generation. Three. As God overthrew, overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah and the neighbor cities thereof, said the Lord. So shall no man abide there, neither shall any son of man dwell therein. Come on. Behold, the people. That, means, that means for you ignorant brothers out here that think you're going to still be in America, Babylon, after it's on fire, that you've been walking around with your garment on, with the, with the fog going around, and you having barbecues, that's not going to happen. Because, you know, I know it's somebody teaching that somewhere, so I'm just bringing that forth. Just, hold on, what the Bible says, let's get Ecclesiastes. Give me, hold on, real quick, give me Ecclesiastes, please. Give me Ecclesiastes 19, and I don't I think I want 13. Let me get there first. Ecclesiastes chapter 19 and Yes. Ecclesiastes 19, 13, please. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 19 and 13. Watch this. Admonish a friend. The word admonish means correct. Correct a friend. It may be. It may be he hath not done it. He might he ain't done it. But watch this. And if he have done it. If he have done it. That he do it no more. You see that? That's why we are mind, the Bible said the mind is a friend. That he have not done it. That he do it no more. Because sometimes y'all might be, people might be like, why are you getting on me, man? I ain't doing nothing. Well, maybe you doing something before and you actually doing this. Or maybe you're going to do something after you doing this. So you're correcting them for future tense. Hey, bro, just in case, don't do this. Right. That makes sense to you. All right, so let's go from her. Let's go back, Soldier Herman. Verse, uh, 
39, read 30, no, 40 again. The book of uh, uh, Jeremiah chapter 50 verse 40. As God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah and the neighbor cities thereof, said the Lord, so shall no man abide there, neither shall any son of man dwell therein. And then watch it. So God overthrew the, uh, through the Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities thereof. Why did the other cities die? Why did the other cities get smoked in the Sodom and Gomorrah? It was, it was a metropolis. Okay. It was, it, they were uh, uh, like uh, Louisville Metro was a metropolis. The surrounding cities like Shively, Jaytown, New Albany. Okay. Yeah, all that influence is going over in all those cities too from Louisville. So all of, you know the the the, the, the ba Babylon and whatever the other cities. Look close by, the, the influence, uh -huh. they're going to get it too. Right, so, right, so Sodom and Gomorrah, right, you, you said exactly. All those cities was in agreement with what they was doing, and no one was correcting the other one. All right, so I brought that out maybe about a week, three weeks to a month ago about the reason why the other cities died with them and the other people is because they never corrected the people. All right. Okay, so that means you was in agreement with that thing. 41. Verse 41. Behold, a people shall come from the north, and a great nation, and many kings shall be raised up from the coast of the earth. So many kings shall be raised up. So that lets you know that this was not talking about the Babylon from before. It was talking about the Babylon of today. Everybody got that? All right. Verse 40. Revelations. Everybody give me, uh, give me Revelations. Uh, Revelation 18, 1 and 2. And it says, God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah, and the neighbor cities thereof, said the Lord. So no man abided there, neither shall any son of man dwell therein. Let's, let's prove more that this is talking about America and of the last days. Watch this. The book of Revelation, chapter 18, and verse 1. Mm -hmm. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. Great. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, saying what? Babylon the Great is fallen. Babylon the Great is fallen. Is fallen. Uh -huh. and, and has become the habitation of devils. Evil people. And the hold of every foul spirit. Uh -huh. every, 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 hold, every hold of every foul spirit. Because the true believers is going to get lifted up out of here. They out of here. The true believers... Everybody that is left is an evil spirit. Meaning that they're going to get burnt what? Up. Read. And a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. And a cage of un every unclean and hateful bird. So now watch this. Jump down to 8. Verse 8. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day. One day. Death. Death. And mourning. Mourning. And famine. Famine. And she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord God who judges her. You see that thing right there? God says, therefore shall her plagues come in one day. Death. Mourning. Famine. Famine kills. Mourning kills. Because it ain't. You you be so you be so distraught and you so crying and you 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 like what happened? The bombs have hit. You don't know what's going on. The end of the world. Just you going through that can make you sick enough to what? Die. Yeah, I remember some of, some of the people were just gonna have heart attacks just seeing the missiles in the air. That's Luke. Is that Luke? Yeah. They they just just seeing the missiles in the air. Some of them gonna croak. <laughs> That's it. Listen, uh, mm, nah, we ain't got it. So our plagues is going to come, right? And the Lord judges them. Watch this, number nine. Verse nine. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and live deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her. So they're going to cry for her, come on. When they shall see the smoke of her burning. Read. Standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Come on. Alas, alas, that great city, Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour. Wait, what? In one hour. In what? In one hour, 
It's like judgment come. You see that thing right there? In one hour, this place that y'all love is gonna be gone. One hour. If you don't believe, keep doing you. If you don't believe, keep doing you. Then you will find out. And what else? God says he's going to eat this place up. Give me Joel chapter 3 verse 1. The book of Joel chapter 3 and verse 1. Come on. For behold, in those days and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. So he said in those days and that time, Again, when I bring the captivity of Jerusalem, Judah and Jerusalem, come on. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel, mm -hmm. whom they have scattered among the nations. Who they have scattered among the nations. And parted my land. They have parted my land, talking about uh, Israel. You got the Israelis on one hand and you got the uh, uh, Amal Amalek on the what? Of the end. The so called Jewish people. Alright? They appointed my land, God says. So, watch this. And they have cast lots for. No, no, it's all over. It's all over. Give me 49. The Psalms 49 and 11. So they are cast, they appointed my land. They appointed my land. This, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 49 and 11. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever. See, these people, when they poured in God's land, their inward thoughts is that they will, read it again. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever. See, these people don't ever think they're going to die. They think that President Day, Christmas, Thanksgiving, Valentine's Day, they think that all these days, that all these days is gonna go forever. In their head, they can't be defeated. In their heads. They don't really believe in God, even though they know it is a God. But as you did all this to a people. After you did all this to a people, you forget that it was a God. And you forget that that's his people. And you forget that them, they look like he look. That's right. Let me show you something real quick. I'm going to show you what I mean. Give me Psalm chapter 50, verse 21. Psalm chapter 50, verse 21. I'm at the back of this. Watch this. The book of Psalms, chapter 50, and verse 21. Watch this. These things thou hast done. See, they did these things. They'll cut off our children's head. They'll cut off our men's heads. They'll cut off our women's heads. They'll cut babies out of our women. They'll use our babies as alligator bait. They'll put us in zoos. They, all these things. God said these things are you doing. Watch this. And I kept silent. God kept silence. He said, I didn't say nothing. Watch this. Thou thoughtest that I would all, was altogether such as one as thyself. See, they thought that God had forgot about his people. But watch this. But I will reprove thee. See, God said, I'm going to correct your butt. I'm going to show you, right? I'm going to show you. This is my favorite word. I'm going to show you better than I can tell you. That's what God said. Watch this. And set them in order before thine eyes. That's why you got these camps raising up. Because these camps is teaching order. That's right. That's our job. You cannot be out of order in God's camp. Is that it? That's it. Yes, sir. Go back to where we were, Psalm 49 and 11. Psalms chapter 49 verse 11. Come on. Their inward thought is that their houses and that their houses shall continue forever. See, they think that they're going to live forever. Come on. And their dwelling places to all generations. And their dwelling places. See, I'm going to give this to my son. I'm going to leave this for my son. I'm going to leave this for my son. I'm going to leave this for my son. Come on. 
They call their lands after their own name. That's how you got Africa. That's how you got the land of Africa. That's how you got the land of America. Lil Scipius Africanus, America of his future. That's how you got these lands now. That's how you got these lands names. Europe, the Europeans. They call these lands, they they have changed the names of all the lands. All over, all over China, uh, Australia, the islands of the seas, Jamaica, uh, uh, Haitian, uh, Dominican. They have changed all the names. They named these lands that you won't find these in the Bible. You won't find them. They read it again because people don't understand how deep that is. Read it again. Watch this. The book of Psalms, chapter 49, verse 11. Their inward thought is that, that, the, that their houses shall continue forever. Come on. And their dwelling places to all generations. Their dwelling places to all generations. Watch this. They call their lands after their own name. They own all the continents. All seven of them. They, they hands and see every last one of them are ruling them. Some way, some fashion. They renamed all the people. They placed the so-called they, they placed Emma, uh, and the Amalekites in Israel. They placed them in our land. They put the Palestinians in our land. They, that's why they that's, that's why they fight back and forth for that land, which is neither one of their lands. It's not, it's not even your land. What's up? You know, uh, uh, uh. China, that's a major country. Mm -hmm. North Korea, when we look at the news, we think they on their own, right? Oh, they're, they're a big country, you know, they got nukes. No, they're a communist country. Who's the biggest, baddest communist country out there? Russia. Where do they get all their weapons and technology from? Russia. That's why they're in cahoots with them. There you go. Okay. There you go. So these things, they in with thoughts, they call the lands after their own name. After their own name. Remember that. Remember that. From her. Give me Zechariah 11 and 5. This is the book of Zechariah, chapter 11 and verse 5. Come on. Whose possessors slay them. Who possesses slay them. And hold themselves not guilty. And see who possesses slay them. And hold themselves not guilty. Come on. And they that sell them say. Blessed be the Lord. For I am rich. Mm -hmm. And their own shepherds pity them not. Did you see that thing right there. These people. The same people that says that dwelling land shall rule forever. That they're going to rule forever right. It's the same people. Who brought you over in captivity. But when you talk to our people today, they don't understand it. It's like talking to the wall. How did the wall get paint on it? Somebody had to paint the wall. To the, our people, no, nobody can paint the wall. The paint just came on the wall. Well, how? I don't know how. It don't matter. It was just on there. That's how the ladies sound today. You remember? Right. We asked her about, when did I ask her? I said, uh, do you know about uh, was it slavery? We was talking about slavery? Yes. And she said, it don't matter about our people coming over. It don't matter why we over here. I didn't come over here. We over here now. She didn't want to know the reason why. I said, do you want to know the reason why God brought us over here? No, it don't matter. We're just over here. She, she didn't want to she didn't want to know. She wanted to come up with a what? An excuse. These are the things that you got to look for for our people. Destroyed. Read. Verse 6. For I will no more pity the inhabitants of the land, said the Lord. Oh no, where were you at? Zach, no, I just need Zachary. Deuteronomy 28 15. Okay. Watch this. Our people just don't, they don't get it. They don't get that we, we came over here for a reason. Watch this. This is the reason why we came over here. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Uh -huh. 
But it shall come to pass. But it shall come to pass. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, Read. to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. Watch this. That all these curses. All these bad things. Shall come upon thee. And overtake thee. Deuteronomy 28, 48. Verse 48. Come. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Come on. In hunger. In hunger. And in thirst. And thirst. And in nakedness. And in nakedness. And in want of all things. Read. And he shall, shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Until he hath destroyed thee. That's the main reason that we go to Deuteronomy 28 and teach. Because you cannot get around who feeds you, who clothes you, and who gives you water. Who nourishes you right now today? God says the people who's nourishing you right now today is your what? It's, it's your enemy. But our people thinking that Our people is searching for peace with a people that God said is your what? Yeah. Read Deuteronomy 28 again, for, and then give me Jeremiah 6. I'm going to show you what I mean. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Come on. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. No, Deuteronomy 28, 48. Oh, excuse me. Verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck, until he had destroyed. You know, give me Jeremiah 8 and verse 11. So God is letting you know that this people is your enemy. But our people will sit around and say, that's the white man's book. Why is the white man going to let you know that you came here on, on slave ships? When they the one brought you here on slave ships, that would be the most dumbest thing ever. How did this Bible survive through all that and they knew that God, that they knew they did us wrong, why would they let, why would they let that continue to be in the Bible? Why would they let that right there continue? The whole thing that's showing that they are in rulership over us and that they, they, they are enemies. Why would God allow why, I mean, why would the white man allow that to happen? You know why? Because God made this Bible stay, uh, stay around. Not him. If it was up to him, he would have burnt every Bible. We wouldn't have no knowledge. If this story was written by him, and this Bible was his book, he would have he would have had his people, had his color of people in the Bible instead of Christ. His image would have been in the Bible instead of Christ. Being a black man, he would have been a Caucasian man. But the image in the Bible is a black man according to the Bible. That's right. So ain't no way. So God said, you see, he sent you to your enemies. You say, he's our friend. Our people are contrary of God. That's right. They opposite of God. Everything that God say, they say, no. Who, why do they do that? The reason why they do that is because they've been trained up by the enemy. This is how trained up they are. What do God see as they're going to say? Read. The book of Jeremiah chapter 8 verse 11. Come on. For they have healed the hurt of the daughters of my people. They have gave our people food stamps. They have gave us section 8. Low income houses. They have even gave us uh, law programs. What you say? Stimulus. Stimulus checks. They have gave us all those things. They are healed the hurt of the daughters of my people. Watch this. Slightly. Slightly. What God say? Slightly. Not all the way, but slightly. Just enough to get their head to going do 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 do. They lost in the twilight zone. Yes. Read. Watch this. Say. Say what? Peace. Peace. When there is no peace. See, our people is still crying for peace. And you don't want to hear about Deuteronomy 28. 
but you still crying for peace, and there is no peace. It's going to be the next George Floyd. It's going to be the next Breonna Taylor. It's going to be the next uh, uh, Leo Castro. What's his name? Uh, the guy that was in the Cincinnati. Philip, uh, oh, I forgot how his name. I can't think of his name. Castro, something like that. It's going to be, it's going to be the next one. When the next cop is going to kill the boy in the, uh, in the, uh, uh, no, no, in, uh, the, uh, train station, the next boy is going to get killed. You remember the boy got killed on New Year in the train station? When the next cop is going to shoot a boy that's handcuffed in his back. You know, they, they were saying there's like a hundred and, don't quote me on this, a hundred twenty-something odd deaths by police since George Floyd's conviction. Philando, thank you, Sister Victoria. Philando, that's right. I'll praise it, sis. You hold it. I'll praise it. Thank you, sis. What you say now? There, you know, ever since George, George Floyd, um, there's been like 120 something people killed by the police. I'll praise it. Since then. I'll praise it. Oscar Grant, that's who the boy was. I'll praise it, sis. You're a point. You're right. So you see these things happening to our people, but we're not acknowledging it. We keep on doody doody da, doody da de da. What I tell that woman today, Soldier Herman? I said, you keep on shopping, because you're going to die with that money. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you playing bad, you're going to die with that money. I'm out here trying to give you some good news. She's going to give the flag. Here, take that. You just gave your million dollar ticket up. Give it back to me. I'll take it. That's right. Right back to you. Give me your damn right. Herman took it back and said, thank you. And phoned it up. <laughs> That's right. You don't want it, sis. Keep it moving. Our salvation is putting in the work. You are looking for death. You're in agreement with this nation. You're in agreement with getting treated like this. The scripture says, God sent our enemies against us. Our people says, you know what? Well, that happened a long time ago. Why are we still getting home? Why are we still getting home right now today? They can put as many anti, anti uh, hate laws out there. Or they can put all that garbage out here all they want. They the ones doing it. You know why this couldn't be a battle? Because they don't like law. That's right. They act like they like law, but they don't like law. That's when you women don't talk to me like that. Ain't no man gonna rule over me. That's them. You effeminate your men ain't listening. Y'all not listening to no man out here trying to tell you, hey, bro, bro, get your job. Bro, love your people. Help your people. Stop selling dope to your people. Oh, man, that's the white man's book. What? He can't even show you him in the book. Have him show you him in this book. Are people destroyed? Let me get back on course. I'm sorry. Sure, I went off a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Give me your uh, from her. We got, we got, uh, what time we got? What time we got? 6.18. All right. Uh... I'm going to finish this up, and then we go, uh, we'll, we'll do part two to this. I'm going to finish this up. Because part two, it, it's going to get better, y'all. I guarantee you. If you like the class so far, it ain't going to do nothing to get better. That's right, bro. I'll praise the most high. It ain't going to do nothing to get better. Next, tune in next week for the finish of it. From her, give me Leviticus chapter 26, verse 17. For all you brothers and saints, all you brothers that say, uh, give me story with 26 for me. I mean, story with 16, I'm sorry. Uh, all you brothers that say, this is the white man's book. Watch this. The book of uh, Leviticus, chapter 26, verse 16. Read. I will also do this unto you. I will even appoint over you terror, consumption, and the burning agu. And the agu is fevers. God says he's going to put fevers on the swatches. That shall consume their eyes and cause sorrow for depression. 
And ye shall sow your seed in vain. You shall have your children in vain. For your enemies shall eat it. So your children shall eat it up. Your children. Yeah, let, you, 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 every time we have babies, right? Y'all know every time you have a baby, how much it costs you. I'm just going through how much, I'm going through this. I'm putting this right here. You know, every time you have a baby, how much it costs you. It costs you a whole lot to raise that baby because you got to get diapers, food, and all that stuff, right? Who got control over your baby more than you when you have your baby? Mm. The other nation, but this nation right here got more control over you. You know they can come in when you have your baby, take your baby right away, and nothing you can do about it. That's right. You got to fight for your baby in court. A judge can just sign the thing that says, take the baby away. That's it. They got more rights. That baby came from your seed. They got more rights to take your baby away than you get. So when you have your kids out here, brothers and sisters, make sure you have a kid with a woman that's going to do God's laws. That's right. Quit having these babies with these Americanized women. Only thing they think about is money. Majority of these <coughs> women out here, they all got five, six kids so they can keep on getting assistant, government assistant, government assistant. They don't need no man with government, uh, government assistant. They don't need no man. They got one man. That's the white man. He's the one that pays all their bills. He's the one that buys them the car. He's the one that uh, brings the food home and give them food stamps. <laughs> Tell me, watch yourself. Watch this. Keep on reading. Come on. Watch this. Uh, verse 17. Read. And I will set my face against you. See, God has already let you know he's going to set his face against you. That, this face is talking about this vow. He's going to set his vow against you. Watch this. And ye shall be slain before your enemies. You know there's our people was running here hollering peace, peace, but they still leave dying. Read, watch this. They that hate you. They that what? They that hate you. The same people that God said you should serve your enemies, they that hate you, watch this. Shall reign over you. The ones that hate you is the ones that bought you over here on slave ships. They didn't hate you. Why didn't they bring any other nationality of people over here? Why wasn't it a mixed multitude on that ship? Read it one more time, soldier. And I will set my face against you. I will set my face against you. Watch this. And ye shall be slain before your enemies. You're going to be slain. You're going to be killed before your enemies. They that hate you. They that hate you. The ones that brought Deuteronomy 28, 48. Shall reign over you. They going to reign over you. Come on. And ye shall flee when none pursue it. You know how when the police pull up and brothers is on the block. The next thing you know when the police pull up, everybody's gone. Everybody's gone. Brothers is on the block. You ain't even got to have no drugs or nothing on you. Just when the police pull up, you scared enough to flee. Yeah. I seen brothers run and don't got nothing on them just because the police pull up. You, you, you see the videos of brother be running? He run past a brother and he don't, he don't know what he running from. He takes off running. He's he, he still running. They see he knows a whole crowd running. There Nobody you go. knows why anybody's running. There you go. That's how we do. That's how we do. All praises. Read 18. And if it were not yet for all this hard London. See, God says, even when you even now you know that these are your enemies by the teachers on the streets. You know that these are your enemies. And even after that, you would not hearken unto me, meaning do his laws. Watch this. Then will I punish you seven times more for your sin. Guys, I'm telling you right now, quick plan with this man. He is uh, give me, give me Exodus chapter 15. Verse 3, man. Quit playing with this man, man. Watch what God is. The book of Exodus, chapter 15, and verse 3. Read. The Lord is a man of war. You see, yeah, he's a man of war. He will cut you to asunder. Sister, clean your fan. Nah. <laughs> All praises. That's right. We're right there. That's right. Wherever you, wherever, hey, uh, is it a spot over there? Yeah, I would, I would put it over here and kind of get everybody. Hey, like, er, soldier, soldier George, get that for us. 
Yeah, let it, yeah, I'm, I'm cool. Just let it blow over on y'all. I'm good. Let it blow over on y'all. Matter of fact, yeah, so just put it over by that, uh, by that, on that table over. I read it again. The Lord is a man of war. God is a man of war. Watch this. The Lord is his name. The Lord is his name. So God is not to be played with, guys. Give me Lamentations chapter 4, verse uh, 4 and verse uh, the one where it says the nation that uh, the nation, you depend on the nation. The book of Lamentations, chapter 4, verse 17. Uh -huh. As for us, our eyes have yet failed for our vain help. Uh -huh. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. In our watching, we are watching for a nation that what? That could not save us. See, so our, in our watching, we are watching for a nation that cannot save us. Can y'all feel that? Mm -hmm. All right. And I watch you, we are watch for a nation that, can, that cannot save us. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry that we're not flying to home. <laughs> we ain't got no urge. It's hot in this damn place. I'll praise the most high. So we're watching for a nation that cannot save us. So we're watching for a nation that cannot save us. So we watch for a nation that cannot save us. So what? Verse 18. Watch this. Verse 18. Come on. They hunt our steps. They what? They hunt our steps. They hunt our steps. See? So we, we're looking for a nation that can't save us, but they hunt our steps. Watch this. That we cannot go in our streets. That we cannot even go. You want to go out in your streets, man, and you get what? You get killed. You go in your streets and you get killed. You get killed, you get locked up, you get harassed. They hunt our steps. Then we can't even go in the streets. You know what's funny? Uh, what was that? What's that Reverend here? Cosby. Yeah, Cosby. This brother gets pulled over by the police maybe a year or two ago. Everybody see that on the news when he got pulled over by the police. And, bro, you don't understand that they don't even care if you a pastor because they know you ain't teaching the right thing anyway. Mm -hmm. They don't care if you a pastor. Only thing they care about is you a black man riding through the neighborhood. They hunt our streets. You know, Martin Luther King, bless his soul, he was, a, he was running around and doing all this work for our people, right? He got put to what? Yeah. Who y'all think shot him? They did. They did. See what I mean? Mm -hmm. These things right here, y'all gotta put your heads on these things. Give me Daniel's chapter 9. The book of Daniel, chapter 9, verse 11. And verse 11. Watch this. Yea, all Israel have transgressed thy law. See, all Israel transgressed God's laws. Watch this. Even by departing, that they might not obey thy voice. Three. Therefore the curse is poured upon us. No, no, what did God say? Therefore the curse is poured upon us. You know, how can you not, like, like when Soldier Herman's out, he says we live in y'all, how can y'all be happy living in trash? That's a curse to live in, tra a lab, live in trash. That's a curse. Our people go outside like they in the best hood in the world. And you in the hood. It stinks downtown. You don't see no, like in the rubber town over where we got DuPont and all that. You don't see, you don't see DuPont out there in Hurstboard. Because if it's sinked out there, they have been and made DuPont clean it up. But all these chemicals, all these different smells is coming in your neighborhood every day. Smell like straight buttocks. I'm being real. You get up every morning and you, you know how you're in the country, you say, oh, fresh breath, uh, uh, fresh air, uh, breath of air. You gonna smell a fresh breath of ass. I mean, a fresh breath <laughs> of Oh my God, what the hell is this? Your whole nose fell off as soon as you go outside. 
Just listen to Ice Cube talking about today was a good day. Right. It wasn't a good day. I'm just letting y'all know this thing right here. Read it again, Soldier Army. Verse 11. The book of Daniel, chapter 9, verse 11. Yea, all Israel have tra transgressed thy law, even by the party that they might not obey thy voice. Read. Therefore the curse is poured upon us, and the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of God, because we have sinned against it. You see, if y'all now, if you look at Deuteronomy 28, that's the, that's the oath that was written by Moses. Deuteronomy 28, if we not observe to do all these commandments and these statutes which I command upon thee, that all these curses should come upon thee and overtake thee. That's the oath that was written. Watch this. Verse 12. Verse 12. Watch this. And he hath confirmed his word. Say it again with some power. And he hath confirmed his word. And God hath confirmed his word. Watch this. Which he spake against us and against our judges. Read. And judged us. By bringing upon us a great evil. See, God brought upon us the great evil. That 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 man patrolling your neighborhood, you said it says protect and to serve, not to beat and harass. So that was a great evil that was brought upon us. Not only just here in America, what about our brothers in China? What about the brothers in Israel? What about the brothers in all these other little countries? What about us still in slavery in the, uh, in the Arab countries? Read it again, verse 12. Daniel chapter 9 and verse 12. Watch this. And he hath confirmed his word. See, I don't know about y'all, but God's words are being confirmed here in America. Here in uh, wherever we scattered it, his words are being it's already been confirmed. The only reason you don't understand is because you still sleep. I understand. I'm looking at it every day. This is when we go outside and we see our people bug out, sleeping on the concrete, using bowel movements out in the outside in the wide open. Smoking drugs and shooting heroin right in the wild oak wide open. God's words is confirmed, brothers and sisters. You think that's a big bang theory. A big damn dope pipe just came and you start smoking. That's the big bang theory. I'm gonna make this pipe as a you know, uh you know. No. God made sure that our people was gonna get their desires. Read it again. Read it again, man. Watch this. And he hath confirmed his words. He confirmed his words. Which he spake against us. He said we was going to do these things. And against our judges that judge The same brothers who was supposed to be doing the law, same thing. By bringing upon us a great evil. Come on. For under the whole heaven. For under the whole heaven. Hath not been done as hath been done upon Jerusalem. Say, Israel, this thing right here, guys. What we going through? Ain't nobody. Ain't no Holocaust. That's that's garbage. Ain't no World Trade Center. That's garbage. All those things, man. Ain't none of those things got nothing to do. Nothing is bigger than us brought here in slavery and scattered amongst the nations in slavery. If that happened to any other nation, this thing would be broadcast all around the world. That's right. Verse 13. Verse 13. As it is written in the law of Moses, all this evil has come upon us, yet we have not our prayer before the Lord our God. Read that again. Yet. Yet may we not our prayer before the Lord our God. Come on. That we might turn from our iniquities. And understand thy truth. You see that our people, yet with all these things going on, they still ain't changed their ways. They still ain't prayed to God. They still don't want to do his laws. So all that peace, peace, you will continue to die. We're going to continue to kill each other. Until judgment 
come to America. With them, we are TTIC. And next week, we'll do part two to what's right to you. With them, we'll say, Shalom. Shalom.